At this judgment, the judge is God, the king, judging the living nations in his earthly kingdom. At this judgment, there are three classes judge, the sheep, the saved, and this is stated in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 17, the goats, which is the unsaved, and this is in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 7 to 10, and the brethren, the elect of Israel, this is stated in Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 to 8, and in Romans chapter 11, verses 25 to 28. At the great white throne, there are no saved, no kingdom. They are all cast into the lake of fire. At this judgment, the wicked dead will seek a hiding place. At this judgment, the dead, small and great, will stand before God. The greatness of the great will be of no value. There is none that do it good, no, not one. And this is stated in Romans chapter 3, verses 12. At this judgment, the book of life will be opened. The wicked will be shown that God, in his mercy, provided space for them in the book of life. So they are without excuse. And this is stated in Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. At this judgment, the dead will be judged according to their works. God is a just God. And since there are degrees of punishment in hell, some will be punished more than others. And you'll find this in Luke chapter 12, verses 42 to 48. At this judgment, there will be no acquittal, no higher court to which the lost may appeal. It is lost and lost forever. It is damned to all eternity and that without hope. There is a hell and in hell there is no hope, no sympathy, no love. Even the love of God does not extend beyond the portals of hell. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them, because the Savior's payment satisfied justice. Sinful man could be declared righteous. Before I conclude my podcast on judgment of the wicked, I would like to share two Bible verses with you. In Romans chapter 3, verse 25 says, Whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Also, in Second Chronicles chapter 24, verses 2 says, Joash did what was right in the sight of the Lord, all the days of Jehoiada the priest. Thank you very much for your time and for your listening support. May God richly bless you and do have a pleasant day.